Hey what's up everybody, it's April Night 4 here bringing another action figure review comparison video and it is time for the real versus fake of Super Saiyan Son and Goku, this is Bandai vs the Tatong again and here we have is the official one on the left side and we have the Chinese knockoff on the right side. We're going to go ahead toe to toe uh, with these two figures and compare them and see what are the differences and if the fake version is a good alternative or not. Uh, so as we know already, uh, we're going to start off with the boxes of the figures. So let's move these guys to the side and take a look at the boxes that they come in. Of course, on the real one, we always have English writing and we have SH figures and all the logos going on down here. So we got the stickers as well, toy animation, Funimation, all that good stuff. Uh, we got Bandai on the bottom, but we will have the tongue on the bottom of the fake one. Of course, we have Chinese lettering for the name, no English at all. Everything else looks the same, but overall, the quality of the fake one isn't so good as they made the box really weird. Uh, Compared to the real one, and compared to other the Tong versions of the you know of boxes that I mean I don't know why they went so horribly with this box, kind of weird. Kind of how when they, they made the first issue of the Scouter the Tong, the box was really huge. It was just you know weird. Anyways, to the side of the figure or of the box, I guess I should say we got English writing over here on the left side for the real, and of course Chinese. We got both pictures of the figure. It's a little bit smaller on the fake one. Uh, to the back, you can kind of see how the box is horrible. Uh, Chinese lettering on the Tong. And of course English here we got Tamashi Nation's logo and while we have the Tong logos on the bottom and to the other side we see the same picture there and then to the bottom of it we have Bluefin and all the real stuff going on, on the left side and nothing on the right side but Chinese lettering and then up here you see the English Sun Goku and on the right side there isn't really much just all Chinese. Alright so here we have it and we can really see some huge differences from you know from the beginning and my main difference is of course how consistent and how beautiful the real one is colored compared to the, the tong one i mean everything and it's a lot more shinier on the the tong version of the figure almost like the plastic is the orange and there's no paint you can tell there's more paint or there's actual paint on the real one uh i know there is paint on the blue but the orange is kind of hard to tell i feel like that is just how the plastic is there is some painting going on when they try to shadow the knee right here where the where the creases are on the, his outfit uh, of course, you have the leg being darker than the upper torso area that I don't like on the, the Tong version. But you can see the colors are a very dra I mean, drastically different. The arms are different. The skin tone is very different. And of course, the hairs are very different because it's just all plain yellow on the real one. While the, the Tong version actually has, I think in my opinion, has better hair because it's got that airbrush spray like the San Diego Comic Con has. It's got that airbrush right there and it makes it look a little better. I mean, honestly, it does. I do like that hair more than this one. Um, going down, down to the legs, we have uh the feet and it's a little uh it's painted a lot better on the real one of course going to the back of the figure you can see how the tongue tried to really do a good job with their uh airbrushing they did pretty decent i do like the airbrushing on the creases a little the touch of orange and you can see the orange on his hair as well like everyone do likes that i do like that more than just plain yellow uh, but i don't like how dark the legs are on the fake one and how uh I mean, just inconsistent it is. It just makes that real one a lot better and just more worth it to me. So what I want to do now is compare the faces. Uh, of course, the left side is the real one while the right side is the tongue. Uh, it's up to you which one you think looks better. I think they both look good, but they're very differently. The real one, actually, I feel like it's a little bit too much on that line. The line underneath the eye and the nose is just too dark. It just looks kind of weird to me. I don't know. They did go softer on the Tong version, which is should how it kind of should have been. Maybe a little darker. I don't know, but just may, I don't know. I don't like how the real one is so, so dark. Looks kind of weird. Um, I like the airbrushing in between the eyes. They did kind of trying to make a look like the SDCC version of the figure. Uh, the mouth is painted better on the real version in my opinion and the paint overall on the face is a little better because the uh, shiny plastic on the fake one just takes a little bit of the realism away from me. Of course the Tong version has markings on the uh, head. so You can see the number one right there. That's how you can kind of tell um, which one is the fake one or the real one. Uh, going on to the back. Uh, the ears are more detailed on the real version of the you know the faces. It's just straight plastic on the, the tongue version so that makes the real one a little bit better in my opinion of course that's pretty much for the faces because this figure doesn't come with many faces only two uh here we have the instant transmission hands uh the real one is actually just straight skin tone while the uh fake the tongue one has some airbrushing on the knuckles that makes it look pretty cool in my opinion 
Uh, it's not too uh, overdone either. It looks pretty nice. Uh, but uh, they're both pretty, I mean, they're done pretty well. It's a lot darker skin tone on the, the Tong version. That goes for almost all the hands as well. We got the fist. Skin tones are a little different. And then, of course, the opened um, hands as well. Now, the articulation on both figures are the same. Uh, it's just the uh, tightness, I guess, is the difference. Of course, the original real one has way better joints. Uh, but this one has good joints as well. It holds its own. If you saw my individual review on this guy, he uh, he looked really uh, well. When I articulated him, he held himself together. My only gripe was the arm was loose a little bit, not too bad. And the waist was a little loose, but not bad at all either. It's bearable. It's not like anything that falls apart. Um, but anyways, it's a really good knockoff. In my opinion, I would go for the original real one. Uh <laughs> Like I always do, I always go for, I always recommend the real version of figures, but uh, with this one is especially I do recommend the real one because they're both similar in price. That is the big deal is that they're both almost the same price. So why are you going to settle for uh, one that is subpar and it's not even real when you can get the official release and it looks a lot better. So, but it's up to you if you really do dig this hair better. I, I do dig this hair better. I like this hair better than the actual real one, but that's pretty much all I like better. Everything else uh, the real one is better in my opinion uh, so it's up to you uh, the airbrushing on the knuckles is a nice touch and on the uh, in between the eyes and you know just because it gives that 2% effect they have the airbrushing going on throughout the outfit if only they can make the outfit consistent it would have been a lot better but anyway that wraps up this comparison review I know it wasn't a long one but there wasn't much to compare here very minimal accessories and uh, the differences were really really easy to tell so there you have it guys, here is the real versus fake video of Super Saiyan Son Goku, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you guys would like, uh, if you guys have any more request videos, go ahead and leave it in the comments, I try my best to fulfill those requests, as you can see I've been doing these the Tong videos, because a lot of people have been requesting them, so I am listening to you guys, so I appreciate the comments a lot, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate it, so go ahead and keep commenting, like the videos, and subscribe if you guys would like, and you guys have a great day, bye. Crispy.